everybody. How is it going? We are heading to a resort today, the Centura Grand, aren't we? Yeah, I laughed the way he said we're heading to a resort today, like something yeah. special. Man, we go to a <laughs> lot of resorts. Yeah, we're hitting up this resort. Well, and we just got to share it with you because that's just what we do. The resort so, looks amazing. We've driven by it when it was closed and now it's open. And a lot of things are opening up here. So you all are going to be thrilled to see that. And hopefully people will be venturing here pretty soon to Koh Samui. So where is Centaur Grand? Centaur Grand is in Chuang, yes? Yeah, it's on Chuang Beach. Mm -hmm. Which is one of the more beautiful beaches here on Koh Samui. Super clean, beautiful right now, and very few people, which is fantastic and something we greatly enjoy. Um, and, you know, this is like the third day I haven't gone to the gym. Whose fault is that? And this is Dave's fault. <laughs> And this is what happens when he comes here. I don't go to the gym and I gain weight. And then I have to undo all the damage while he leaves. I think you'll be okay. So, Mr. Dion. Yes, Mrs. Dion. <laughs> How are you enjoying your return to Koh Samui? Now that the weather is beautiful, it's amazing. Um, you know, it was okay when it was raining just because like, Thailand's like an adventure no matter what. But now that the sun's out, it just feels like you're on vacation every day. Not a bad life, huh? Not a bad life. Uh, hopefully the rain stays away now for the rest of my stay. Yeah. You guys gotta check out this beastly rock here in Lamai. And it's right here on the coast near Crystal Bay. And this is a rock that Dave and I kind of hold our breath when we go under it because it seriously looks like it's like leaning and it's leaning over the road. What do you think of that rock, Dave? Driving in Thailand, I think people say it's dangerous or whatever. But the only place I have anxiety in this whole place, everywhere <laughs> I've ever been in this country, is going around that corner back there. Yeah. That's one of the reasons we're moving. We're, gonna, <laughs> we're moving into a rental house That's up here. why we're moving. Yeah, it's so we funny. never have to buy, drive past that rock. Yeah, anymore. yeah, it is pretty scary. This is probably one of my more favorite areas as we drive through Lamai, heading up to Chuang, is just the views of these hills. We have the ocean over on the right hand side, which you can't see as of yet. But once you get to the top of this hill, you will see a very nice view. I don't know if you're doing audio right now, but those buildings right up there on the you just saw them. Oh, That's yeah. the Vanna Bell. That's oh, where we yeah. went for the Christmas tree lighting ceremony. You can't see them great from here, but maybe they showed up in the video. All right, so we are at the Santara, and it's the Santara Reserve. Santara Reserve. Swatika! And this place, we have been waiting for this place to open up. And it looks really, really nice, and one of the more newer resorts here so we'll see looks like many rooms and this is multi-level and this looks really beautiful over here some nice fountains and I assume this will be the main lobby.
This is gorgeous. What a beautiful place. Well, this certainly has not disappointed yet. This resort, from what we understand, to be able to use their pool and enjoy this area, it's a 1,600 baht minimum, 1,600 baht. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. I think we're gonna really like it. like a raised platform here. I wonder if they maybe had like a, somebody performing or something here at some point. It's like a little stage. Look at this place, this is sick. This is really something. Now, granted, it is a little bit more expensive than we typically do, but wow, this is just Absolutely breathtaking. Wow. Get any like special voucher or anything, right? No, there's no. This is just a minimum spend of 1600 baht off their normal menu. Okay. What do you think of the tables and the chairs in the pool, Dave? It's pretty good. They did it right. Uh, yeah. They're made out of a nice hardwood, but then they have like aluminum legs on them. They're really nice. This water's beautiful. Nice. Everything looks so fresh and refreshing today. Oh my gosh. Really, this is, it's got to be one of the nicer places we've been to. Would you agree, Dave? I'm gonna say it again, it seems like every place we go is nicer than the last place. It's pretty awesome. It's built like the same thing. <laughs> huh. That's a shower right there. to see what's over here is I hear running water. Ah, look it. I think I know. Oh, how fun. 
for kids. Nice splash pad. So they have a place to bring your kids. They'll watch your kids for you so you can enjoy your time here at the pool without, you know, running after them so much. So in the sand, lounges, bar, place to eat. This is absolutely fantastic. Look at this place. And as you know, you guys, Dave and I have been talking about going back to the States, but when I come to places like this, it makes me not want to go. Um, and I don't have to go if I don't want to, right? Sky's the limit, you can do whatever you want to do. You make things happen for yourself. And I could stay, just go back for the holidays and then come back to Koh Samui. Or we could stay in the US and travel the US for a while and then go someplace else. It's gonna be really hard to leave Thailand. I don't know, I'm on the fence. Definitely a swim up bar and then again more seating and they have two menus here as well. They have a bar menu which is a little bit more abbreviated. One thing's for sure, I cannot wait until Dave and I have some friends here and some family here to come visit so we can share with you all some of our closest people that we care about share this beautiful place we can only talk about it so much I mean you got to come to see it for yourselves there's so many resorts here for us to check out every week I mean gosh we could go to a new one every single day if we wanted Yeah, so we want, we want family and friends to come and visit us here so we can share this place. So many fun things to do here. Definitely, as you can see, it's a different lifestyle. Far from anything that I have experienced my entire life, honestly. Been locked up in the work yourself to death idea chasing this American dream that really isn't feasible anymore and honestly you can have your American dream in another country <laughs> which makes no sense okay so we have our awesome food here we have something it looks to be like a focaccia type bread and the pizza which it wasn't labeled as a pizza on the menu but this is salami on it and this has potatoes and 
ham, ham meatballs. meatballs. Yeah, meatballs. So it looks very, very good to me. We're gonna dive right on in and we'll let you know what we think of it afterwards. <clears throat> Dave's playing in the water. With all the storms that have been passing through here recently, the waves are definitely stirred up right now. <laughs> Usually the seas are a bit calmer. How you doing? Say what? How you doing? You playing in the ocean? Yeah, you should come out there with me. Are you scared? Yeah, yeah. You are? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's waves like this all here a lot. No, I was just talking about that. How the waves are bigger, probably because of the storms recently. The water temperature is nice though. Yeah. yeah. Gosh, what a beautiful day. Perfect. Heading back in. Okay, so feedback on the food. What do you think, Dave? What was your favorite? I thought the food was good. I thought they were both good in their own way. I gotta tell you, I like the salami pizza thing better. Yeah, the, but the there flatbread. Was, there's nothing wrong with the meatball thing either. Yeah, They're yeah. It was really good. That was good. Just chilling out. <laughs> now, this guy has the great job. He is the misting man. Oh! oh. <laughs> I know that's okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. No! Oh, it smells like oranges. Ooh, it does smell good. Okay, epic fail. <laughs> I just was recording and I. I thought I was recording and I wasn't recording. At least a minute and a half of our closing <laughs> video, Kim took a picture yeah. instead of hitting record. Uh, so typical of me. But anyway, we just had some french fries, some sweet potato fries, and some shoestring salty fries. We were really good. We're Big wrapping, bowls. That's yeah. what we finished with. Big bowls of french fries. And we're wrapping up our day here. We spent about 2,095 baht, which is about 60 bucks. Yeah. And that is a little on the higher end for us, but you know what? This is definitely a higher end resort. So if you're looking for something to this caliber up in Chuang, this is the place to come. It's a brand new resort, just opened as of just December 1st. And uh, the Santera, you will not be disappointed. Yep, like she said, you will not be disappointed at all. Yeah. The place is fantastic. We have many other resorts we're gonna be hitting up, so not likely we'll come back soon but it's definitely on our radar for one that we would probably consider seeing or coming back to at some point. Yep, but like Kim said, we've got a lot more resorts and a lot more experiences to share with you guys. So that's what we'll be doing. Yeah, so we'll catch you guys soon. Bye-bye.